Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? Today I have on the Belova Precisionist, as you can see here with that buttery smooth sweeping second hand. I just love this watch. Haven't had this on in a while, so I figured today's the day we're gonna put it on the wrist. But today's video is going to actually be over this watch right here. For those of you who have been following my channel, you'll know that one thing missing from my watch collection that I had started back in October is a digital watch. And that has finally changed. And in today's video, we'll go over my first digital watch purchase, the Casio A1000D-7EF. Before getting into the specs and review, I first wanted to give a heads up that this is part of the Casio Europe Vintage Reissue Collection. What this means is that you cannot simply go online to Amazon or local retailers here in the US and purchase one. Instead, you will have to seek either a private seller on a site like eBay or get lucky and find someone local who is selling theirs. Now the good news is that you can find international sellers on eBay who will ship to the US. I have included links below for you to check out if you are interested in picking one up. Okay, let's start with some measurements. The case diameter at its widest point is 38 millimeters and lug to lug height is at around 39 and a half millimeters. I really like that this is such a sleek and slim case design at only 7.6 millimeters thick. And after having only offered plated resin cases on so many other Casio watches with the exception of some G-Shocks, this watch is a full solid stainless steel case. I really like that we're getting a full stainless steel case and bracelet, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And as you can see, this bracelet is made with folded links that are hollow, and if I'm being honest, feel quite cheap. Not so much in regard to the construction, as I'm sure these will not come undone while wearing the watch, but after buying and owning so many other watches with solid links, it's just not something that I'm used to getting at this price point. I do like the look of the links though, having polished center links and then of course brushed on the outside. Now on these links, they are kind of a pain in the ass to remove, and maybe there's a trick to them that I'm not aware of, but getting the little L-shaped bar removed takes a good amount of force. Now the watch bracelet has a stamped folded clasp and is secured in place with this double push button lock. It's pretty standard, but it holds up well. And I like that we see the Casio branding here in high polish. A good feature that I must point out is that the bracelet comes standard on this quick release spring bar system. Good job Casio, that is definitely much appreciated. But let no good deed go unpunished as the case does have a step design that will not easily allow for a standard strap to be attached to the watch without it looking a little bit off. And the lug width is 18 millimeters, but then steps out to 21 millimeters, as you see here. It does taper down from 21 millimeters to 16 millimeters for that vintage look and feel. And I happen to really like the look of this bracelet with this watch, so it's not a deal breaker, just something worth pointing out as you will be limited to some strap swap options. Now looking at the back of the case, we see the case back is brushed stainless steel and has branding, model information, water resistance indication, and the functions of each pusher. Now I like that this was put on the back in order to allow for a more clean look on the front in comparison to other Casio watches that have the function modes listed on the front. And the case back is held in place by these four screws at each corner as we see. And moving to the front of this watch, we see that this Casio has an irregular octagonal shape. It's classic and timeless. However, this version features some really nice details. I appreciate how the fronts of the lugs are brushed and then immediately transition to high polish. We see it both along the sides of the case and on this first layer that is flush with the lugs. The case pushers are small but easy to actuate and I really like that the pushers have these faceted guards that are built into the case itself. Now all of these sharp angles give so much depth and reflection to the watch it's really done quite nicely. And there's a stepped area of the case that has a polished edge and then transitions back to brushed before meeting with the mineral glass crystal. Now in the inside of the crystal we see that there's a step down layer for depth with high polish and then a layer of the mother of pearl on the dial. The Casio branding is applied in high polish while the illuminator indication and water resistance indication are printed on the dial. The LCD is positive in display and has a thin edge of polished stainless steel that gives a pop of shine. The functions are pretty standard. We have time display both in 12 or 24 hour options with day of month and day of week indication. There's stopwatch function in 1 100th of a second accuracy up to one hour of timekeeping. 
Now the alarms can be set for a daily recurrence and there is an option to have an audible beep at each hour on the hour. Now the watch does have a nice white electroluminescent backlight that is a bit hazy when viewing straight on, but when you view it at a slight angle, it's quite clear to see. It looks really nice. Okay, let's summarize and talk price for this watch. I happened to pay $74 for this watch on eBay, which is much lower than the normal going price. Now you can find these generally on eBay for about $105 to $150 depending on the international seller that you select. That's including shipping. Now would I pay that much? It really depends. The fact you cannot get this watch anywhere else in the US kind of forces you to accept that price point. So if you really like the watch and you want the watch, I say go for it. As far as if it's worth it, that's something you'll have to decide. But let me know in the comments what you think about the pricing. Is it too high or do you think that's still doable? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now remember, you are getting a full stainless steel case and bracelet with a really awesome mother of pearl dial design. It's a sleek 7.6 millimeters thick, so it wears quite nicely and doesn't look bulky like some of the other Casio watches that are similar to this one. Also, the mother of pearl is not nearly as pronounced as you see in the photos online, so if you're okay with it being understated, it really does look amazing in person. For me, being my first digital watch, I wanted to get something special. Something I know not everyone is going to have on their wrist or possibly in their collection, but something so iconic in design that everyone knows what it is as soon as they see it. And my dad and my uncle both made comments on this watch when they saw it. It took them back to a time in their lives when they wore a Casio quite similar to this one. So it was very cool to see something like this watch spark those memories in men who used to sport the OG Casio watches in their day. Now, if I could change things about the watch, of course I'd like solid links, perhaps greater water resistance, and a case design that allows for straps to be attached to the case without that awkward kind of step design. Other than that, I think it's a solid watch. You'll just have to decide for yourself if it's worth the price. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button to join the Schwartz Force and tap the bell for notification on future uploads that I put out each week. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. And as always, may the Schwartz be with you, and I'll see you at the next one. Take care.